Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And today we're going to check out INTZ taking on MNG Esports. It's the Brazilians versus the Italians in this awesome war. All right, so we're going to check out this war, INTZ versus MNG Esports here in the Pinnacle Cup. And the beautiful thing about this is they rotate attacks one after another, so you can see each and every single one of the attacks live here. If you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. And it lets me know that you love this series in the live war commentary. If you want to check out more of these videos, take a look at all these different thumbnails. The video playlist will be down in the description as well for you guys to check out because they are a lot of fun to watch, to commentate, and I know a lot of you guys have been enjoying them as well. So if you guys enjoy it, again, hit that like button. Also subscribe down below. It helps the channel and helps me grow. And I love creating the content for you guys every single day. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the live war with INTZ and MMG Esports. The first attack is in on Bernal. Light's coming in for MNG Esports. And it's coming in with the hybrid. All right, here we go. Dropping the wall breakers. Balloon, Baby Dragon. I mean, he dropped that Baby Dragon first, which could have been a little risky there, but nonetheless, takes that down. Might have tried to get the Balloon to go for the Archer Tower so the Baby Dragon can tank a little bit, but he's okay. He's moving in. Balloon attacks for Sam's, for the Queen. Let's see. Balloon goes down. Queen's charging in. She gets... Oh my goodness! That Town Hall literally almost took her down there. Pulls out the CC of Archers and an Ice Golem. Two Ice Golems, actually, so the... Uh, Poison should help clear those archers, no problem. Drop some balloons on the mortar to keep that king to go up to 12 o'clock. And then here he's going to send the miners and hogs right in between. The siege barracks is going to help assist that king on the top side. Queen's going to be able to not only reach over the wall, but she can take out the archer tower, two wizard tower, two wizard towers, the grand warden platform, and the clan castle so the miners don't get stalled up on it. But it depends on the timing. Pops king ability finds a tesla farm at 12 o'clock. Does aggro the scatter shot, but there are two single target infernos, which is great for this attack strategy. The Pekka's moving up. It's not even getting touched with some wizards behind. Did pop the Grand War internal tome. Still has the royal champion to drop it somewhere on this base, potentially at the bottom side over here at 5 o'clock. So she can loop in or maybe behind the hogs. Nope, it's actually over at 9 o'clock. We're going to let the Queen continue down there. Does not have her ability anymore. The Hogs, the Miners are in the core. Oh, this is looking pretty good. That Scattershot is actually locking on to some of these troops here. Enemy Royal Champion and King are slowing quite a bit of these troops down here. The Scattershot does stay up. Is that going to be a huge problem here? Oh, that Scattershot. The Royal Champion. The Queen does not have ability. Everything disappeared. Oh, no. That king and royal champion just stalled up all those miners and the scatter and multi took them down. Oh, 57 seconds. Does he have the time to finish this one off? Does need the platform here. He doesn't have any cleanup around. Queen's going to be moving. She's going to go up to the mortar. That scatter shot's going to wreck this queen here. Unfortunately, is she going to be able to survive this? Does not look like it. One more shot from the scatter, and she does go down. Unfortunately, didn't have a free spell for this area, and the miners and hogs just got stalled up right there next to that scatter and lost them all. This was looking really good. They died really quick right there. Unfortunately, not able to keep them alive. Light. We were thinking it's going to be kicking off with a three-star, but... Base holds. Bernal. It's only going to be a two star. Nice try, Light here. Finishing off with a little bit more percentage. Pekka's moving down around at six o'clock. Getting an 89% two star for the first attack here in this war. All right, now the answer is going to go to INTZ. What can they do next? Here we go. Marinol's next. What can he do? It is a drag bat. I knew it. I predicted it, but let's see what he does. We have balloons coming on the mortar. King finds a little Tesla. He's going to run up and around to 12 o'clock. Drops the queen behind. No wall breakers. So is this queen going to loop behind the king here? Let's see. So she should, because all this has been fun a little bit. Down goes the cannon. Should follow this king up to 12. Up and around. Here we go. Let's see. Dragon's down. Ground Expo. How many Ground Expos? How many Expos we got on ground? One, two, 
Two ground expos, two air expos in the core. Six bats. Two single target infernos. Drop some balloons. Oh man, this is littered with seeking air mines up top at 12. Loses one dragon to the wizard. Drops the rest of the dragons onto the eagle artillery. Pulling more Sams. Moving in. Scatter shot locking on to some. Drops a rage. Pulls another seeking air mine. Dragons are through. They gotta get their way to the town hall. The wizard tower does go down. Pops the Grand Warden Eternal Tome. Protects the dragons. Look at all these seeking air mines, especially through that Grand Warden Eternal Tome. Oh my. Pulls out the three ice golems, unfortunately. Out comes a dra uh, bat wave from the right side. Drops a freeze on the single and the whiz in the air defense. The Royal Champ's going to pop her ability. Going to get some skip value right there. The bats are moving through. Got to make sure that it is frozen. Has one more freeze for this wizard tower and multi. He's got to drop it. There it is. Nice. Balloons are moving in. Can these bats make their way to that multi-target inferno? They do, but they don't take it down. We got some more bats coming in. Oh... Man, this is going to be enough. Does he have enough dragons to overwhelm the wizard tower and the multi? He's going to have them loop over there. And these dragons should be fine in the core. The wizard tower is not going to do too much damage there. One point defense of the Tesla with 59 seconds remaining. This arch is going to come in clutch over at 9 o'clock. Does he have it, guys? Can Marinol connect for the three star? Oh, this is looking pretty good. I think time is going to be on his side. If he can... Definitely not going to be able to take these dragons down. I think that's a three. 39 seconds. Even though the bats got taken down pretty quick. Marinol kicking it off for INTZ. With the three star. Oh my. Look at that. The man does it again. Time and time again, he comes in with his air attacks and just wrecks him, especially when he sees single target infernos. He's like, drag bat. All right, here we go. Hawk is in. Let's see. On Marino. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Look at this. Asui Lalo. Okay. Drops the stone slammer. Moving in to this eagle artillery but he was trying to get that scatter shot down I think those Teslas really messed up that scatter shot oh boy oh boy King is down. Baby Dragon is down. What's going to happen next? All the storage is over here. Pulls the Skelly. Drops the Queen. He's got two minutes and seven seconds. King's going to probably go on. He's going to run down. Pops King ability. Giant Bomb. Another Skeleton Trap. Takes down the Tesla. Going to be able to clear these Skellies pretty quickly. Queen's going to move up. Oh boy, I don't know. Pops Queen ability, did he get the value he needed? He's only gotten like 15%, 14%. But he did get the Eagle Artillery. Both sweepers are still up. Does have the Earthquake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see. Drops the minions down, drops the, the lava, drops the balloons. Has four haste spells, but he's gonna, there's so much splash in the core here. I think he definitely wanted this down. He wanted that sweeper down. He wanted all that. Drops the earthquake. Drops the rage. Uh-oh. Pops the Grand Warren Channel Tome. Oh, boy. I don't know if they're going to... Oh, the tornado trap. The tornado trap's actually helping here. Drops a freeze. The warning goes down. He's going to lose all these balloons. Oh, my goodness. Oh no! I don't know why he chose to go with the stone, with the stone slammer there. I want to see a blimp. Ah, nice try. All right. Well, INTZ is definitely the, the advantage right now. All right, Bernal's in for INTZ. Here we go. Coming with the hybrid. Drops the queen. 
Right at about five o'clock. Drop some balloons at six to grab the archer tower. The town hall is on the kind of at the outside. There is an opening path for the queen to walk into the town hall. So we send the funnel. He's gonna try to charge his way in. Drops a couple balloons here to try to pull for some seeking air mines to test and protect those test and protect for those healers there. They're moving in. Nice. The CC has not yet been pulled out. Let's see. Balloon goes in, so there's nothing air targeting. So probably going to be three ice golems that do come out of this clan castle or a ice golem lava hound once the queen steps in range. And there it is. Three ice golems do come out. Is he going to drop a rage to take care of the town hall first? And no, he does poison the ice golems to slow him down. Drops the king over at 3 o'clock with the siege barracks to help set this funnel. And he's going to be sending the hybrid right in between on this base. Look at that value. That town hall went down so quickly and easily. There wasn't even anything to put up a fight there. The queen just is going to walk in. Also going to be able to reach a scatter shot on the back end as she walks up. Look at this. Tons of value. One scatter shot and two. Oh, three single target infernos on the complete opposite side of this base. That's going to make easy work for these hogs and miners to get through all that. Oh boy, drops a rage, pops a grand war internal tome. He might just have some swag spells. The queen pops her ability right there, making his way through the scatters. Drops a freeze on the top scatter. The heals are down. Miners and hogs are moving through. Oh my god, guys, this is absolutely crushed. This base is crushed. He's gonna have like a minute left in the bait in the attack. Holy! I don't think he lost any miners or hogs. He didn't lose anything. That was just the queen walked straight in, grabbed the town hall, and the Myers and Hogs just absolutely destroyed this base. He has over a minute left in the raid. Holy! He could, like, turn around and attack that base again. Bernal, you're a wild man. Holy! I didn't see any wall breakers. Holy! No wall breakers? All right, we've got another attack here by MG. Absolutely. What is it? Abs absolutely, uh, is it Echo? But we'll see. Coming in on Ozzy with the Queen Charge into Miners. Ten Wall Breakers, guys. Whoa, look at that single target in front of That's an interesting placement right there. Pull, drops the Wall Breaks. Pull some Small Bombs. Drops the King. He's going to get locked down by the single target in front of Now the Pop King ability to get him out of that range. Pop it. Get that King. Okay, he's out of there. Wall Breakers go in. Opens up the corner. Opens up that next corner. Is the queen going to be able to take down the single target for now without using a free spell? She's moving her way through and she does take it down. He needs to drop one balloon. There's got to be a seeking mine right next to the single target for now. But these ice golems, they're making their way over to the king here. So he can actually save this poison if he wants to somewhere else in the base. But he can't reach that scatter shot in the core there. But he does have five more wall breakers. And there it is coming in. Pulls a giant bomb. Drops the... You got to freeze this. The wall breakers. Oh, nice free spell. Beautiful. There is a sinking air. Why did do it? He should have dropped the balloon to protect the healer. He lost one, though. Is that going to cause a huge problem here? Charges his way into the queen. Drops the poison on the ice golems. Queen burns her ability and just is surviving this. But now is she going to be able to take down the scatter? She's working. She does take it down. Okay. So now here comes the miners. Pulls some skeleton traps. They're going to be moving their way through. But watch out. This single target might lock onto this royal champion. But the Skellies, oh, he does freeze the Town Hall. Queen looks like she's going to go down here. He's going to be making his way. There is a Tornado Trap. Going to slow down the Royal Champ, but not the Miners. Queen does go down. Pulls another Seeking Air Mine. He's going to have to pop the Grand War Internal Tome. He does. Protects the Healers, actually, which are now transferring off to the Miners. Pulls another Sam, but they stay alive. Oh, that scatter shot though. Oh, a Giant Bomb, Skelly, Royal Champion. That's so much in this area. One more Heal Spell. What is he going to be using this balloon for? Oh, man. Now the healers are getting hit by the scatter. Scatter does go down, but the eagle is going to lock on. The queen was not able to continue her push through the base. And unfortunately, looks like these miners are going to get slowed down quite a bit by the skeleton traps and the storages in the core, and they're just pathing around. That eagle artillery looks like it's going to be staying up in the raid. Oh, nice try. Drops the wizard over at 9 o'clock to help with getting a little bit more percentage. Drops the final balloon. Air defense is going to pick it off unless the Grand Warden does take that down. But that's just too much. The Eagle Artillery is going to rain fire on all these miners. And they're going to die in about one or two more shots. He doesn't have max heroes. That is true. 49. Level 17 raw champ. 
90% to 91% two star. Uh, imagine if that queen was able to stay up. Those ice golems coming over to the king and then slowing that queen down a little bit. Kind of messed it up, but 92% two star right there against Ozzy of INTZ. So that's three two stars to INTZ's two triples. All right, Mr. E is in for INTZ. Here we go, guys. Coming in with mass hogs. We haven't seen a mass hog attack in a very long time. Let's see. 42 hog riders coming in. What do you guys think? It's going to be a three star? Let us know right now if you think he's going to get it or not. P drops a balloon. It looks like it's going to be a Yeti mass hog. Or Yeti blimp mass hogs. Uh oh. Is it going to get into that multi target? It does. Is he going to rage it up? Ooh, he's not. He decided not to rage it. He's got one rage spell. Takes out the multi target inferno. The Yeti is going to have Yeti mites take out the Archer Tower potentially. Yep, Archer Tower goes down. Drops the bowler onto the bowler skip on the mortar. Going to take that mortar down. Going to drop the minion down at about 7 o'clock. Ice Golem is going to come over to the bowler. Drops the poison for him. Drops the queen. Drops the king. Oh, he's going to try to get this queen to loop into this town hall. No wall breakers. So he's going to need that queen to loop right down this way, but I don't know if that's going to happen here. We'll have to see, guys. Ice Golems are going to freeze this queen, slow her down a little bit, but the king's going to loop in and around the base. But I'm thinking the only path for this queen is up towards 12 o'clock. I don't see her going anywhere near this town hall here. Unless he's going to send one miner to help activate that town hall and then send all the hogs right for it. That's the only thing I can see happening. Unless the queen gets pulled to the town hall... That one miner is going to be used to activate it. So the hogs will target it. Will, he, will that happen? That's the question. Pull some skellies. Oh, wait. The skelly. Oh, my God. Did that skelly just save the day? Holy. He did not plant. Oh, my God. Look at that. That skelly trap uh, pulled the queen back to that town hall. So now he's going to send the, uh, the hogs right in. Get ready for the warden ability. Beautiful job. Drops the rage. Royal champ's going to help take out that queen. Holy. Oh my goodness. The hogs are moving through. Dropping the heels. Has one more free spell. Going to potentially use it on the scatter shot. He does, but he misses. He misses the scatter shot. But guys, look at all these hogs. He is just moving through the base. Dropping heels. Finds a tornado trap. His champion is still up with ability. He's going to send the miner in for the builder hut. There it is. Going to help take out the builder hut. Then the archer queen platform. Oh, guys. Is this a three star? Mass hogs. Wow. Royal Champs. That's a three. That's a three star. As Skelly pulled that queen back to the town hall. <laughs> that was all planned, guys, right? That was all planned. Jesus. Holy. But that miner was definitely used to help activate that town hall. But hey, he didn't need it. Mr. E comes in and wrecks that base. All right, here we go. Giant Slayer's in. All right, here we go. Coming in with the Yeti blimp and Yetis. Two ice golems. Drops a blimp right over the scatter shot. Drops a rage. Scatter goes down. Gonna take down the Grand Warden platform. What else? The Wizard Tower. The Archer Tower. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Pulls the ice golems over to the corner at six o'clock. Maybe a baby dragon help funnel this area because there's nothing there. Over at three o'clock. Yep, there it is. Baby dragon over at three o'clock. Wizards down at six. Gonna slowly pull these ice golems. Drops the P.E.K.K.A. Wizard on the ice golems to help take care of it. Might need to funnel this a little bit more on the left side. Otherwise, the P.E.K.K.A. is gonna move their way over there. Slowly making through this CC here, the ice golems. Drops the Earthquakes right over the Town Hall. Does have a jump for the backside, potentially over the Eagle Artillery or over this corner to get access to both of the Infernos. Finds the Tesla Farm. Drops the Healers. Did he set the funnel up properly? Oh, he did take that down. Another Wizard down for the P.E.K.K.A. behind it. Moving in. The balloons are testing for Seeking Air Mines. He's gonna does have the Grand Warren Tunnel Tome. Pops it to protect a bunch of Barbarians in the process. He's moving his way through. Where's that jump? Okay, jumps over the wizard tower there. Since they're making their way to the left side. Oh, this I was thinking to drop it right here. Oh, that jump might be in the wrong spot, guys. 
That jump might be in the wrong spot. I was thinking to drop it over that Wiz Tower over the Archer Queen platform. Is it going to be a problem? Queen's now going to follow it. The Yeti Mites are moving in. Can he still get this? He's got the Yetis going through. Enemy Queen goes down. His Queen still has ability. Royal Champ already popped her shield. Wizard is down and around. Yetis are still up. Finds the Spring Trap. Can this still get it? Queen's going to burn her ability here. Balloon's going to help take out the cannon. Then it's going to take out the mortar. Does he have a chance? He needs this wizard to clean up all the way on the top eye. But there is the Archer Queen platform in the core. But the Archer goes back for it. Oh my goodness. Does he have the time, guys? 36 seconds. He's not looking to... Wait, Grand Warden, where are you going? You're going to follow the balloons. Holy Grand Warden. Wait, what? Grand Warden, what are you doing? This Archer Tower is basically dead. There's an invisible Archer that was shooting the uh, the Archer Tower. What the? Was that invisible? Anyone see that? Rewind that. Go take a look. 13 seconds. That's going to be a time fail. Oh, man. Nice try. Dang. 95% two-star. Time fail. Dang, nice try. Not gonna connect for a three, so this one is definitely going to INTZ here. But now INTZ is not only looking to put up the win, they are looking to put up the statement of a perfect war. All right, here we go. The next attack for INTZ coming in with a drag bat. Two single target infernos. Can Calduro do this? Drops the king. Oh, no skin on that king. That's the first thing I noticed. <laughs> Maybe you guys noticed that too. Is it no skin? Who is that? That doesn't even look like the king. What the? No gold pass. This can't be a town 13. No way. Drops the queen. Wait, the queen has a skin, but the king doesn't. What? The queen's going in. Going to sue me for the town all here. The clan castle will come out the moment the king pops ability and gets to the town hall area. Maybe he waits a little bit. He needs to pop this king ability before he activates his town hall. Pop this king ability now. Pop it so the queen doesn't get hit. No, 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 no. Oh, no. The queen's getting hit. You were just a second too late. That's some free damage that you did not want on the queen there. But now he pops ability and he's going to pop this lava hound. Ooh. Okay, that lava hound's popped. Doesn't have a poison spell. But he should be able to deal with these pups here. So one pup, the pup should be going down. Dragons are down at nine o'clock. Pulls a Sam. Okay, so no more pups to deal with. The Royal Champ already used her shield. Moving in. Drops a Rage. Does have the Grand War Internal Tome. He's gonna pop it probably through the Seagull Shot. There it is, beautiful right there. Scatters on the top side, gonna freeze that potentially as he moves his way in. And the bats are making their way down south. Drops a Rage over the core. He's going to save these freezes for the bats here. He's moving through. Oh, guys, this is not looking too bad here. He's got dragons moving on the top side. These bats are going to clear the bottom section. Freezes the wizard tower. Does he have this? No red air bombs. Anywhere near these bats. Guys, holy. INTZ. What are they doing? That slammer is still up. Two more freezes in the bag. Holy. Easy. Look at that. Making it look easy. Wow. All right. We have Ghost Gunner in for MNG. Coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo. Drops a balloon for a Tesla that pops up. Wants to get this blimp into the single target. Finds a Tesla farm. Oh, and a tornado trap. Oh my god. Mr. E was ready. That tornado is spinning the balloons. Scattershot hits him. Oh no, he did not take that single target Inferno down. Oh, it did go down. But he wanted that single potential, that scatter down as well. Oh man, that scatter staying up. He caught him. The tornado trap caught the blimp. Drops the balloon, the wall breakers. Oh no, fails the wall break, drops a rage. Oh, but he gets the wall break just barely. Has one more wall breaker. Has to wait for this multi-target inferno to go down. So wall breakers will target that wall right there. Or this one. It goes down. Is he going to target that wall right there? Oh, maybe right there on the outside. Never mind. Drops a rage. There it is. Now he can loop into the single target inferno. Drops a freeze. 
Nice. Beautiful wall break right there. Gonna take out the single target Inferno. No! He's got the burn ability. Oh no! He get. Oh, he could have hanging. Still had that. Royal Champs coming in for this scatter shot. Drops another rage for the Queen. She's gonna be able to step in. Gonna clear the CC and the Eagle Artillery. Drops a poison. Royal Champs gonna get some value here as long as she can stay up. These Skellies are really hurting. Decided not to drop any minions. Does have her ability. Three ground expos on that queen. She's going to be gone so fast here. Drop, pops that Royal Champ ability. Healers move over. It needs to get this air defense down. It does go down from the Royal Champion here. Balloons are coming out of town. All but he misses the freeze. Drops a haste. Needs to pop this Grand War Internal Tome. Pops it. But does he have enough firepower on this Town Hall with the balloons? Is that Town Hall going to go down, guys? The Grand Warden helps. Oh, the ability just wears off right there. Scattershot. Is now going to get distracted on the hounds. He needs these hounds to pop, actually. So this is actually perfect here. Pull some red air bombs. If this hound pops... Oh, look at all this cleanup here. 51 seconds left. This is looking pretty good, actually. The scatter is going to go down. Has one bar... The platform's down south at 6 o'clock. 43 seconds. Oh, that's a 3. That's going to be the 3 star. The first one from MNG. Oh, man. It wasn't looking too good with that initial blimp. But... Who's still able to get it? Nice queen charge. Get all that value. The multi, the eagle artillery, killed the CC. Got the scatter shot down south with the royal champ. Beautiful hit. Beautiful hit right there. Wow. Very nice. That puts one triple on the board for MNG. Let's say only gonna finish at 11. But now the moment of truth. The last attacker is gonna be Ozzy of INTZ. Going for the perfect war. And he's in, guys. Can he do it? Let's see. They're going for the coveted perfect. Pressure is on. They know they won. They want the perfect. All right. So Ozzy's coming in with that queen charge into hybrid. Six wall breakers. Minions down at about 4 o'clock. Queen's charging in. Here we go. Queen's going to walk her way from 3 up towards potentially 12 o'clock. Does go for the storage. Is he going to try a wall break in here? Yep, there's a wall break. Watch out for a small bomb right here. No, nothing there. Nice. Ended up actually making it through. King going to come out of the top side. Queen loops in. Healers are out of range of the town hall. Does drop a balloon to test for seeking air mines. Very nice job. Doesn't. Oh, he does find one. Perfect. So he protects the healers. Oh, this queen can take out the enemy queen. The expo. Bomb tower. Those are huge threats to this charge. The clan castle. He poisons it to kill the queen first. Oh, man. Still has the Siege Barracks to potentially drop at 12 o'clock to help make sure the Miners and Hall come right in between. Queen is getting some nice value right here. Get ready for the Siege Barracks to help continue that funnel up top at 12 o'clock. If that's where he's going to look to come in with. He does have two more Wall Breakers. Unless he's going to try to Wall Break the Queen up there. Nope. Siege Barracks does actually come there. Wall Breaker doesn't open the wall. Queen does have her ability. She's going for the wall. In comes the Miners and Hogs. Where's the Royal Champion? Not, needs to drop that. Pops the Grand Warren Channel Tome nice and early. A healer does transfer, transfer off. Pops the Queen ability. Going to help take out the Clan Castle to keep these Miners in the core. Skelly Trap drops the heal. Going to have to freeze the scatter shot down here as everything approaches. Wizards are up around moving through the base. There's the freeze. Nice job. Might freeze that one again because everything is kind of all by himself. Finds a Tornado Trap. He gets inside the radius of the scatter. Does he have enough? Those Inferno Beams are doing a lot of work. Out comes back and Hogs from that Siege Barracks. Drops a heal into this. Has one more free spell. Royal Champ has her ability. Enemy Royal Champ's going to slow down any Miners that come up. There is the Freeze on the Scatter. Has some Miners on the outside with the Pekka and Wizards. But is it going to be enough, guys? I don't know. I don't think this is going to be enough here. There's so much to get through. He needs that Queen to stay up to get a little bit more value. Pops that Royal Champ ability. The, the multi is going to go down here. But that scatter shot is going to own these miners. And unfortunately, there's just going to be too much here on the base left. Oh, we wanted to see that perfect war. But it is so difficult to get. You have to get every single building down in every single one of the attacks. To get four triples is insane. But one short of perfection. But INTZ put on a show here. 12 seconds left. Going to try to get as much percent as possible. But it doesn't matter. They won without this attack even. And that's going to be 
a victory for INTZ here in the Pinnacle Cup over MNG Esports. The Brazilians taking it over the Italians here. 14 to 11, 97.6 to an 89.6 right there. Very nice war. GG. Wow, this was a great one. And that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Remember to check out the playlist down in the video description so you can check out more of these types of videos, which are about 30 minutes long. Remember, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe down below for the daily content. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Carbon Finn, signing out. Peace.